Yo, welcome to the post major three press conference with Optic Texas. We're going to be answering some questions. Let's get it. All right. So first off, congrats on winning Toronto. Um, and you guys can all answer this, but how's like the last 48 hours been since lifting that trophy? How'd you guys celebrate? What'd you guys kind of get into over the last uh, Let's go left to right. So we'll go with Brandon. Um, it's been a movie. Um, <laughs> Sunday night. Um, I was with AG for a decent portion of it. And it was, it was, a, it was a very good time. As you say, it was, you know, it was a lot of celebrating. Um, not a lot of sleep, a lot of screaming. I think my voice is still recovering. And I barely even made it for this press conference. So um, <laughs> it's been a lot of sleep it's trying to catch up to it. Hours, I think. And yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a nice high. What about you? Yes, honestly, same as him. Great. Um, you know, I was with him most of the time after the game, after the match. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but we had a good time. Um, I knew Bruce had a really good time because on the flight, he was scaring the I knew someone had a good time because every yeah. time something would just jumping out of his plane. Yeah, wait, so That's when you know someone had a good night. Explain, explain it for your like your your uh, nightmare. Said, or what? I don't know, cause I was he didn't wait, 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 before he says it, bro. He wakes up, right, and he tells me, bro, I just got splashed in the face in the wa by water. <laughs> like, what? I'm telling this you, this guy was scaring the fuck out of me, bro. He was tweaking. Just, no, I'm just trying to sleep and someone's just shaking the whole I feel like listen, planes listen, I didn't sleep Sunday night right so I'm on the flight I'm on Jupiter right <laughs> I'm like you know when you're like dozing off just like better sleep yeah, yeah, yeah. it's getting one of those but I'm like I don't know like something like like I don't know maybe I like in the alternate universe somebody scared the fuck out of me somebody like <laughs> he kept saying that people were splashing water in his face I don't remember shit and he's just going back to sleep yeah someone splashed water <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy that's uh, when I knew you had a good night yeah, that was our Jesus. night we had a good time yeah, it was a movie yeah, from my perspective, you know, obviously Sunday was lit. Uh, you know, we started losers, made the the run, and then uh, we beat Toronto in grand finals. And then after everyone celebrated, I'm pretty sure they. What did you guys go to? Like a like a bar Some place. Casa Casa yeah, they went to like a boy. That's like a bar. Right? Yeah, it's like a dinner place. You know, dinner. Bar. Yeah, they went to like dinner, and then I went. My brother flew flew out. They did like a last minute trip, and I just ate dinner with them. Ate dinner with them, and then. Uh, Aubrey as well, and then I tried wine. That shit's really that shit's dog tried shit. It without me and Bruce? Whoa. No, it was like a sip. It was literally the smallest sip, and it was so dog shit. It was white wine. White oh, wine. Oh, you gotta get yeah. red. You gotta get with, red with, with a nice bitter. meal. With a good bitter though. Like has yeah, to be yeah, it has, it has to be really bitter. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's bitter. The white one is so bad. That is like people. The people that drink that, you guys are forcing. People that drink that mid 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 mid. They're forcing it, dude. Hundred percent. I don't. I don't buy that. White wine is yeah. And then, yeah, we ate dinner, and I legit just sat in bed, went to bed, fucking plane took off, next eight hours, and then, yeah, went to Texas. Uh, me, uh, after we beat Toronto, we went to dinner. I was starving, because I don't eat on game day, so. Holy fuck, you didn't I, eat from. I didn't eat the whole day. So then, like, I'm at, they're like, yo, take a Holy. shot. I'm like. Right, listen, me, no, no, you know me, no. I'll never skip a shot. No, so, like, if it's, clock, <laughs> if it's shot o'clock, if it's shot o'clock, if it's shot o'clock, I gotta hit it. Like Ken so didn't skip that's shit. That's what I'm saying. Ken so. didn't skip the food or the shots. Whatever was handed, <laughs> he was he was doing anything he could get. Yeah, <laughs> so we got ate there, <laughs> and then I, we drank a little bit, and we went out to a bar, and then I went back early. Because I just, I was like, I had a ha I had a headache. Because I was like, I didn't eat all day, and I just drank. So I just went back to, went back to the hotel. When you laid in your bed, that shit probably felt yeah. so good, dude. Oh Watched the match God. back, then came home, chilled. Went to the gym yesterday. I ain't really didn't, I ain't really, really didn't much, except went to a bar. Same thing as them, after we beat Toronto. Uh, JP was fucked bit. up. But I, 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 I came back. Like, Fuck all the st analytics and stats, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, you when they go on the break. Fuck that break off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, after the after going out, I came back a little bit early. I watched the finals like legit three times back to back because I was just I just wanted to keep reliving it. But uh, yeah, came back on the plane. Literally just chilled all of yesterday because I was a. Uh, you were just running off the high from, from the win, but. Uh, I'm gonna take it back to uh, winner's round two against Toronto. Yeah. Um, so you guys had a couple opportunities to take the control and uh, the second hard point from Toronto in advance to the winner's bracket obviously came up a little bit short and they did ice up and win. Um, what kind of went wrong in that game, in those games um, and in those clutch situations? I got shit on. Uh, wait, the Toronto, <laughs> one, wait, the Toronto <laughs> one we're up to I got slammed. Torono one we're two one? Yeah. We Toronto, we just, on a, like, honestly, I think we just scammed. No, we definitely scared. We, we, played, we, we I mean, had to clear that air. We talked about it a little bit. We, made, yeah. we played so bad that day. Yeah, we definitely talked uh, about it a little us bit. Us getting into Sunday was like, 
a blessing because we were we were throwing even against Miami. Do you know what's funny? It's the worst thing about it is like we know what like in the moment we are I we know in ourselves that like the mistake is made in that yeah. moment. It's not like after the match we're like oh man we made like we know we can feel that mistake because like obviously we're super aware of it. So I also yeah. feel like like te- like good teams like when you make a mistake it like it's punishing. like ten times worse. So they punish punishing. you for it. So like. In the moment, it's, it's just it's demoralizing. Yeah. So it's just frustrating because it's like such simple shit that like we just keep we kept making mistakes on. Yeah, we just yeah. yeah it was just yeah it was a sloppy day. Honestly, the best way to put it. And I had a terrible series. Sloppy day. Now on to losers round three against Miami. Um, I don't think anyone expected Miami to win the S and D given their recent performances on land. They run six star S and D. Yeah, they, they, they were actually playing. We were saying that we were like they got six star on oh, clamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veto that shit. Yeah, guys. That shit, that shit. Everyone. No bullshit. Not that ass. You guys kind of answered it, but how were they able to sl- steal that map, and how how are you guys able to bounce back? Uh, I'd say that they just have hella reps on it. One, they have hella reps on it. Two, that's literally the only S and D map they won. I think I could be wrong on that, but on land for sure. Yeah, on land, and then uh, yeah, our preparation wasn't as good as like we thought because we, the only rep that we really got was like LAG. And LAG, AG was in Kerrigan mode, just calling out everything. Fucking. And then I went, I tried to go Kerrigan mode again, and that shit did not work. Yeah, against, against <laughs> I was in the water drowning, getting We eight. were doing some shit we usually don't do. Yeah, we were so. doing some crazy shit. I was in the water drowning every round. But then we, we obviously bounced back because it was respawns, and we knew that we're obviously the respawn, or a better respawn team, so we just finished out. Especially before. against them. <laughs> yeah, so on that note, and this is specifically for Pred, um, obviously you had another legacy series against Miami in a must-win situation. So what, is there anything about playing Miami that, that kind of brings that out of you? <laughs> nah, not really. I mean, uh, well, a little bit. I mean, they just sure, talk bro? shit. They just talk you shit. Sure? You sure about that you one? You're still not <laughs> mad about the Vic with 3 over? You're still not mad about that? Nah, honestly, like, it did get me tight. Because, like, when they did that, that shit actually, like, I, I'm a very photographic memory guy. So, like, I remember shit, like, very photographically. And when I saw that, that 3 over that he did, like, I mean, it does still piss me off a bit. I'll be honest. <laughs> but when we played sub base, I mean, that, I don't know why people. I don't know why. I don't even think them. we played that map really well, but <laughs> no, we played like that map 40s. like shit too. That was another map we played like shit. I just had forty, I think, thirty six yeah. and ten or something. But those guys are, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're just. They did. They they shouldn't have done what they did. That's just what I should have said. Best way. It's one guy that now the whole rest of the roster has to feel the repercussions of it. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? that's the best way to well, put it. Brandon, you will pay. For, they will pay. For <laughs> they will pay for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce wait. is a sergeant. It's in like, the dude, army. we scam this Toronto mine. We'll pay for this. And that <laughs> yeah. picture of AG. That's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, they just they, sh- they just shouldn't have talked shit if they're not gonna win. They didn't win the map for like two events. So. Mm-hmm. On to uh, the NYSL match. So going into that, I feel like you guys hadn't fully reached full potential yet. What'd you guys do as a group going into the New York match to lock in and kind of prepare? I think, well, going into Saturday night, we actually, we realized that we were making some mistakes that we were like not really fixing. Um, And we just all joined like a Discord call. Everyone was like in their rooms and we, for like an hour, we're just going over like stuff we wanted to fix and stuff we were looking forward to going into Sunday. I think that kind of put everyone in like a good headspace going into to Sunday. Yeah, Literally was, every mistake that we talked about the, on that Discord car, we actually got in like similar moments, and yeah. we, we did not make that mistake. We didn't make the mistake again. No Especially S and I think S and D was really important. Bro, I'm telling you, the streak on control was like the most picture perfect, like nah, exact you, me, same nah, moment. hundred percent. And I was like, wow, yeah. this couldn't have been ready nah, any better. Nah, right? dead ass. When you gave me that comp, AJ, everyone I'm was in the, the same street. spot. Too. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it was. It was literally the exact same. That was on the forklift. AJ was fucking mid cut. I was uh. I was on the left street. That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, remember, remember the same thing. I'm like, remember the same thing. Nah, it was just funny because like we, what we talked about. <laughs> nah, it was just funny when you're like, AJ, I'm running up the street. Watch over me. I'm like, I was just thinking in my head, but we spoke about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, what JP said, we basically went into a call, just kind of talked about everything that we need to work on going into Sunday. Yeah. I think what was really important was that what we did for like our S&D. It wasn't even making adjustments. Well, we made adjustments, but it was more about just getting on the same page. And yeah. like Bruce made a good point of like complimenting each other. Like if someone's doing this, how do we compliment this? And that's something that we, um, you know, we did really good adjustments with that. Um, so yeah, that was like something that was really important. Also, yeah. wait, wait, I got to say this against New York, dude, my earbuds died from like the end of map two to map three or like one of the last couple of rounds of like the S and D and I was tweaking and I was like, yo, can you guys hear me? Cause everything just shut off. And I was like, and I could hear the audio. Wait, wait, so whenever the earbuds like, are, you, you, you wait, hear, are they battery? Wait, what did you mean? No, like the, the, when like the, the ear, noise cancel, like the noise cancel. Oh, so, so, so like, so, so you know how like when charged. you like the, the, on my earbuds, like there's like oh, a thing where you yeah. flick on and then it like, like the oh, sound canceling, like, like your I didn't know that. So that's why I was like, can you guys hear me? I was like, I thought you were just on Mars. Yeah, you probably hear. Yeah, all here. 
And I'm like, <laughs> and wait, and then what you the fried, fuck? You I start, fried I'm, the I'm next two wraps too. Yeah. yeah, I start, I'm like, dude, I'm like, control I'm like, I'm game ready. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I realize, I'm like, I can't hear shit. So, <laughs> that would be so nice. then I was like, yeah, I had to crank shit, but I don't know. From map two to map three, I was kind of like, I was Tend on Mars. Yeah, I was on Mars trying to just, I don't know why, like, my earbuds died. That was the first time it's ever happened to have it for like a year, but. Mm. Thank God we didn't lose. <laughs> Not that ass. All right, so moving on to the phase series. Obviously, a huge series, losers final. Um, a lot of critics have been talking about a possible mental block that you guys have had after really close matches with them throughout the season. What was that like going into that? Walk us through kind of the series and, and how you prepared. I mean, I think we're, we're always confident, especially like in a series where – well, against that team where we always felt like we were we had the upper hand and most of the, most of the match versus them we just kind of choked and they just clutched up so i feel like this whole split we just worked on like game winning moments and to me in the back of my head that's all i was thinking about I was like what 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 do we do in these game winning moments in the series and that's going to depict how the series goes and i mean first map and just was the game winning moment at that point? <laughs> he put it, he, he honestly put his chopper out, and but yeah, he had, I mean, a, he had a hang into his knee. <laughs> I think in the back of our heads, we were also thinking about high rise because that was the thing we wanted to work on the most, and so it was yeah. in a series double. And I kind of was just like super confident and playing it against them now because like we worked on it for so long. So, I mean, I wasn't really thinking much except I was just ready to play. I was just honestly in that zone where I was just, didn't think any anything could go wrong. Yeah, straight up. When you're playing against top teams, it's just whoever makes less mistakes and whoever is in the position to, you know, make the winning moment. Make sure you do it. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. No, yeah. honestly, go for Ken said that. Yeah, honestly, Ann was just pissing on him. <laughs> map, map one. Yeah, no, I was. Just, I was my like, like, I, like I said in my head. My stuff. my our, my character that map was do do do. Let me go here. <laughs> let me go here. And he was just that. I just see him dolphin diving into the water. I'm trying to get off this half wall, and he's in the water three times now. I don't know how he's going. He was mixed taping. No, he was. He was just trick showing them that point. Yeah. Hi, Rick, Honestly, even, even even you two was uh, Ken and and was uh, Ken and Bruce was shitting on too. Oh, uh, for me, yeah. I literally was like, I was just blocking, telling him to go every time. Even if it was, I was supposed to go, I just told him to go because he was just shitting on him. I was, I was Kyrie in the fourth. Yeah, no, it wasn't Kyrie. <clears throat> Kyrie in the second half. You had forty. Nah, fourth, fourth, fourth. fourth? Yeah, he usually goes crazy in the fourth. I mean, I second mean, half too, bro. Second he has like half, zero yeah. points in the first, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. He has like thirty yeah, in the second. Yeah, true, true, but um, true. but yeah, yeah, nah. This is for Ant specifically with that series. You broke the kill record. What was it like, kind of getting into that flow state? And when were you like, oh, I'm on. Like this is uh, this is it. I feel like my play style is so like I don't know. It's so funny because like obviously I broke the kill record, but it didn't feel like I did. I feel like the way that I play is just naturally how it is, and. I don't know how many engagements I got, but I guess like I was fucking running at them. And, uh, <laughs> I guess I was running. You were it. diving at them. No, yeah, because I had what? I went like 39 and 20 something. So that's what fucking. Yeah, 30 and like all maps, I'm pretty sure. All response. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I mean, kind of I just got my back Sunday. Simple as that. Super I just, bag. I've gotten second place, what, fucking. Four th times, three times. Three, four times, and I just made sure like uh, that was not happening again. So. Type shit. Oh, well, fuck with that. I wasn't letting that happen again. Yeah, look at him. Tight shit, tight shit. Bro, bro's got a demon mode switch. <laughs> <laughs> and then specifically for uh, for Dashy, um, two questions. What was more difficult, the twenty v one or the one v three? Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, they both present their own unique challenges. Um, <laughs> some of them are just, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's such a good political answer. That, that, almost, that, that almost had a stage, right? That, 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 that was like, did you guys talk about it? <laughs> Actually, no, we did it, but uh, I'd probably say the 1v3 just because, holy shit, that was like kind of almost unwinnable, but the 20v1, that's... It was pretty. Uh, it was pretty tough as well. So the one v three edges it out slightly. Handled though. both well. Though. Handled yeah. both well. And to dive into that a little bit, can you kind of explain, like, from the moment that you got the first pick in the one v three, what went through your mind, the decisions you made, mm -hmm. what you thought was going to happen, and, and why it played out like that? Yeah. So I remember um, it was me and Ann in the two v three. We tried working the right, um, just because we knew one crossed, uh, like back towards the B tank, and then. Um, Sam ended up killing it and then I traded him and then I had like 25 seconds left and then I was like okay I'm just gonna wrap it back to A maybe so activated near like Cat Fay or the street area didn't see him and then I saw him in the back of his spawn so I was like what the fuck so I was like my only play here is to go back to work half go to bomb and then um hopefully one of them is either already um like I thought Draws was gonna be make up which he was but he wasn't giving me the child but then as I saw Draws um 
he couldn't relay the comm to Cell in time. They were like, yo, he just crossed the bomb. Like, just check it out five because it was already like a bang, bang play almost. Cell just jumped out the bomb before like anything happened. And then once I killed uh, Cell, I like, just instantly planted it, just knowing that um, it's a 50 50. Obviously, Drops could come and kill me off the bomb, but I remember thinking, like, I kind of just have to take this chance. And plus, I think I've been in this scenario against Zach like once before, and he didn't check the fucking bomb. I'm like, I know this fucking guy's not probably checking this shit. <laughs> so I was like, I'm dropping this shit. And then once I got the bomb down and just got away for free that was like okay now it's a 1v1 i can kind of just do whatever i kind of knew the general area where he could come from and got good timing gave him a nice little one pump and sent him to jupiter so i'd fuck it nah honestly that nice. watching that watching that clutch that was probably the most icy shit i've ever seen in my life i swear to god that was dope that was insane i'm not gonna lie i've yeah. never seen that was probably like the best that. clutch i've ever seen on that like, dead yeah. ass like that, and just because of how crucial it is, map five to get into the finals, tie, like, was it to go up 4 3 or 5 3? I don't even know four what it was. 4 3. It was, was tied 3 3. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but once I, I saw that shit, I knew we were winning the tournament. Yeah, no, I, like, no, that was, was like that. Like, I was like, that, that was, was a winning. That was some Destiny yeah. shit. Like, I knew we were winning. That was like a defining moment. Like, that's like a. I can't even explain it. It's like when Kawhi hit that shot on Joel. Game yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just bounce it in. Yeah. Like, yeah you know, yeah, they're not losing. You know, yeah. yeah. And I stayed in the moment too because I was like, yeah, that was offense. I'm like, no, that was so free. Let's go. Let's win this D. Honestly, <laughs> the, it's just so funny. But you'll see all our cams. We're just all sitting there, like, not saying a word. We're just like, what the fuck? I was so lucky. I was trying to, like, I was so lucky. Wait, wait, wait. We were cranked. Just know we were cranked. We were trying to hit everything. And yeah, trying to sound hard. But that was icy. That was probably the icy clutch. It has, it has to be T3 all time. Like, land, ice, clutch. I don't know what ranks, but that was, it was, it was dope. Yeah. And the 20 v one is dope, too. <laughs> <laughs> The broadcast caught a little bit of uh, body shooting on Championship Sunday. Um, out of you guys, what kind of brought that energy out? Who was shooting? <laughs> I was those me. This for all you guys. The, yeah, yeah, all you guys was just me. <laughs> um, okay. It was against FaZe only. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, they were shooting. I think, uh, I don't even think they even shot my body. I'm not going to lie. But then I, it, I, did, I only started on map four, which is so weird. We lost the map before that. And I was blacked out, ripping everyone's body from the P2 to P3. <laughs> I was shitting on them. I'm not going to lie. And I'm like, holy shit, they think I'm on Mars. That's the thing. I'm like, how the fuck that randomly just started this shit now? But um, it was kind of just like a mix of like, I don't know. Like the, I guess our rivalry goes back more than just this year. It's kind of just like the past three, four years, just going back and forth with them. And it was just more of like a, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know. Friendly banter. Yeah, it was it was in game. It was you know what I mean. Playing the best, so brings the, I guess, a demon out of you sometimes. And I was not planned. I don't know if the, you guys have a, a common answer in this or individual answers, but was there a like specific point in the weekend where you were like, yeah, this is our event? Uh, I was after we beat Phase. Yeah, I yeah. would say the back to back rounds of Phase, like Brandon getting the one v three, and then the two v three with me and AG, and like where he killed a BZ. I feel like those two rounds were just like pivotal to yeah, like our yeah, energy yeah. and like the momentum we had like yeah, going yeah. into it. So honestly, I, yeah, when seeing five three was like yeah, yeah, I agree. With and then like obviously we haven't lost. Well, we lost Serrano at the event, but we didn't lose the Phase for like the longest. I mean, we lost the Phase like for like the longest time, and um. We just need to get over that hump of just beating them. So mm -hmm. I feel like once we went up 5-3 and we won that instant, I, I mean, we were confident playing against Tarana. And I feel like, for me at least, going into the series, obviously Grand Finals is always who has the better map pool. And I think, well, realistically, we have the better map pool than Tarana. So I, mean, yeah, I said it before the finals. Them. I was like, this is going to be a 4-0 as soon as I saw the maps. And I yeah. just yeah. I kind of just knew after the phase series that that was kind of it. Yeah. yeah. Same yeah. answer as him. Yeah, I just didn't think we were gonna lose another final. You'll probably see it in the process if they. Yeah, we were, we were saying in. we're gonna. Honestly, think about it. They gave us our best map, first map of the of the grand final. Good I side. Mean, good side too. They picked it for they us. Gave us our best map. We didn't lose. They picked invasion it, which is all, fucking. All and they just picked it, and there's an invasion control, and one of them just had three kills on it. Like we were never <laughs> losing that shit. Yeah, that, if that, that grand final for us was like, if we lost that, we all probably would have retired. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was such a free one. For me, me and Dame in the back, like once once we phased, we were like that was the final hurdle, hurdle for them. Like, uh, even Brandon, I think Brandon said it best, but he was like, that was the last Infinity Stone. Like, it was yeah. some Thanos shit where <laughs> all we had to do was snap in finals because that was the final piece at that point. Yeah. Collected the Soul Stone from all those losses. That was Sacrificed lost, that was those losses title. for the Soul Stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Ant, Shotzi, your grand finals KD uh, against Toronto was a 1.37, which is the highest Damn. in your career. Damn. Uh, what about like this game and that series and your teammates have kind of helped you find this level of success uh, in this event and in grand finals? Um, 
you're saying like how did my teammate tell me you found my flow all of the above thing? like how did you find it how did your teammates kind of help support like, that? what contributed to your i think i think everyone i think everyone just like doing the correct shit in the moment like it was never like yo do this like it was never like calmed like our team is like yo you should do this and then like it, it messes up the timing it was always like yo do this i got this you know what i'm saying so everyone was clipping clicking to where like all i had to do was literally just go forward and just shoot them simple as that and obviously i was making plays in the water stuff like that and i mean i was kind of, kind of just feeling myself and once that's happening it's just it's wraps so huh. yeah and for ken uh this was your ninth chip across five titles Damn. Mm -hmm. um What's kind of like your approach to COD that's allowed you to kind of win over multiple titles with multiple different teams? And how's that kind most of winning is? Most, uh, most winning like, is. Most winning is. Is that he most winning stuff? No, he's tied. He's tied. Oh, we got to get, yeah. yeah. get him that title. But I can't use that thing anymore. Like, um, I feel like for me, I mean, I've always looked at COD differently than a lot of pros. I've always said, like, Gunny is like 10% of, like, being a COD bro. So, for me, I always look at the aspect of, like, using teamwork because if you can get four guys that have – elite gunny to be on the same page and like use good teamwork it's impossible to lose and so for me even when i play against other teams or watch other teams vods i'm just like confused on what they're doing and if i'm confused that means that i feel like they're playing incorrectly so if i can just get us to play correctly in my head like what i think correct is and just get us all on the same page i know we can win and i mean I, it's land as well like i just love land so <laughs> any any year that's been full land i think i've won an event and I think that just speaks to, like, me, I guess, living in the moment whenever the pressure's on. So, I, I mean, in practice, I'm basically harping on, like, certain plays because I know, like, in the moment, like, this is something we cannot communicate. We just need to do it. So, once we get that down, I just know in the moment. I don't have to think. I just do. So, I think that's what, like, has led to me having great success in the past five games. Yeah. And for or, AG, yeah. uh, you won the Toronto event two out of the last three seasons. Uh, would you say you run the six now? No, I, mean, I run the six. Respectfully, I think I do. <laughs> 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 nah, honestly, yeah. I mean, my first ever time in the league, I won there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Dude, that stage, like, I was even telling Ant afterwards. I'm like, dude, it felt so weird because, like, my only win was there. So when we won there again, like, I've, stu I've stood on that stage, like, and won before. I don't know. It just <laughs> felt different. Like, I can't explain it. Um, but, yeah, I think I run the six, man, respectfully. I think Bruce runs the... the, the Texas? <laughs> yeah. And Ken runs LA, so... I think we're, we're good. We got the, the next three. The next three. Uh, world, 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 worldwide. <laughs> I'm our retainers. That's just how I was saying. Worldwide. We're worldwide. That ass. Walk me through that last hard point. Um, it seemed kind of like a certain moment through the last two minutes. Everyone kind of just blacked out. The kill feed <laughs> turned green. And it, what was going on? Like in the comms, in, in your guys' heads, like what, what was happening? If I could relive one moment, it would be just like the last three minutes of the real hard one. <laughs> yeah. like, that's same. That's it was always. unbelievable to experience. Like just the <laughs> energy, level of dope the buildup, just like the comms, everything was just like, it was We just knew where we were winning that map to where like we were so doped up, just doing the most weirdest shit. The and dumbest shit. The most dumbest <laughs> shit. We were like streaming, like obviously the plays that we're doing were like still correct, and we're just screaming. We're aping so, like, them. When we're doing all that. Yeah, we're playing. Eight. And you know you're about to win. Anything you're winning. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing eight ball. We're playing eight ball. Hundred percent. We could have literally done the most dumbest shit. I feel like you could also feel in the match, like in that map, for sure, that they they just lost confidence. Like they're just they're just running at us and just dying with. They their weren't guns even shooting. Down. Yeah, they weren't even shooting. But the whole listening it was just green. Yeah, exactly. That, so. No, like dead ass. They actually didn't get a kill. No, no. That's what they're just running out with their guns out. They don't even give. They don't. They're probably not even coming to each other at this point. They just gave up and like they lost belief. We could. I could tell. Running them, so it it was over. It was over, and we always won the run through a wall to be yeah. fair like, i wish i could just grab that energy yeah, yeah, and put yeah. it into a, like a into a, like a bar like a like a and jar or something save it <laughs> just have it there and just have a sip of it like that was that was insane because i remember like i've never heard bruce say dead when i heard that it was over it was over yeah. dead! Like, what and ken's, ken's like why is ken asking I'm like ape him ape him but i don't know where this ape call outs came out but like, we started saying this ape shit i don't know what it is it's some um, apex i think of me ken yeah, right apex. Apex. Oh, no, i figured brandon started I, 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 I started like scrims i'm like i'm aping this guy but like, yeah, yeah i don't know we just been this ape call out's been coming out recently and whenever we're delusional we just say ape him ape him ape him and that person is 
dead. That yeah. person's not coming out alive. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's and then the alive. last, like, the last, like, when we were just like, I don't know, it was so funny because the listening, cu- listening cut out, and like, I was like, everyone, let's just relax and let's just get this one wave. And then we got the first two kills, and me and Ant left the hill white and just <laughs> ran. <laughs> 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 we're like, we co- I completely ignored what I even said. <laughs> like, we just ran. Yeah, you got to. And you got a three piece to rip someone, and he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> screaming some crazy shit. Yeah. He went like. Bro, I wanted to literally go on their spot. Just watch. No, I told you this guy speaks Majin Buu when he starts going Majin fucking. Buu. I don't know. He starts going crazy, bro. But Sweet yeah, fucking. That listening was fire, dude. That was like definitely the highlight of the tournament. That Rio was fun. Yeah, that was good. I'm glad that we won the way we won. Like yeah. on some uh, in on a hard point on too. Some dominant dagger shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. percent. Now for Ant. Uh, Usually people are used to seeing like AG scream and get loud, even for online matches um, here at the HQ. But throughout this whole event and and specifically the last two series, um, you even lost your voice and it was pretty obvious we were seeing kind of a different ant this event. Super what same. changed? Uh, just like after I lost against Toronto, like I felt bad just because like my energy wasn't there because like I literally woke up with a fucking sore throat. Uh, I had body chills. I didn't really feel too good. So then... I'm pretty sure I didn't even eat fucking breakfast. I ate a damn banana. So oh, that's, whoa, that's, that's a good thing I brought that yeah, up. Yeah, no, that, wait, that, that is why I came to breakfast. Because like, I was like, dude, holy fuck. Like, I, I wasn't feeling good. So uh, so Sunday, I had breakfast with Brandon. He's in the breakfast JP, club JP, Hector. And then uh, I just knew that it would come different. So I want to give a big props to him. Because like, even on Saturday, I even told him, like, like I feel like your energy was a bit low. Because I, I knew he came in sick drinking tea and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> guy's drinking tea on a Saturday. I'm like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? As soon as we got in on Sunday... Honestly, he just became super saiyan. The guy's fucking looking in the head, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, no. Uh, um, yeah, energy was crazy. Some people said this roster would never win a tournament together. And now being champions, what do you have to say about this team moving forward, going into these last two events of the season, now that you've proven that you can win? I want to know who said that shit, by the way, too. Like. <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever their opinion is, I don't know. Think, uh, Bruce serious. definitely knows. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, I'll let you some of you guys. You guys can answer this. <laughs> I mean, it's four talented individuals. All we have to do is, you know, sacrifice, you know, fucking kills. Like, let's just say, you it's know, I'm getting kills. AG getting in the hell, you know, vice versa. I'll get in the hell if someone else needs to, you know. So uh, as long as we're able to do that and just play unselfish, like, this team could do anything. So. It's okay. like a good basketball team. You know what I mean? The Warriors got together. Not saying we're the Warriors, but like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like a lot of them average 30 points a game, but when they got together, you know what I mean? Like, There's going to be times where I'm going to have t- less likely than Bruce, but like sometimes yeah. I'll have to, I have a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A minute. <laughs> a minute's a lot. <laughs> There's going to be times where I have 40 seconds, but like, <laughs> <laughs> just like There's just going to be t- Honestly, the thing is, on our team, anyone can take over. Like, honestly, throughout the whole tournament, there was specific moments where everyone just took over. Yeah. And I feel like, we allow that person to just to continue if that makes sense yeah, like, it's time. like if like if ken's frying it's not like we, like we can understand that it's like feeding the hot hand you know like oh, yeah. we just keep letting them go like if he's if he's feeling it just keep you know him like it's just like letting each other just flourish in the moment because we know that all of us are capable of winning us a game and we want that person we want someone to take over and if if they are in the takeover take mode like we're gonna keep letting them you know and i think that's really important but um mm-hmm. yeah i think like Ann said sacrifices so you know everyone's making sacrifices adjustments it's only our third tournament together, so we're obviously still trying to learn. And I yeah. think we've been, um, you know, with this last couple months or whatever it's been, um, we've been learning a lot playing with each other. So, true. Yeah. And last question uh, to the Green Wall: What do you want to say to all the fans that have kind of believed in this roster since day one, been supporting the team, and obviously known that you guys were capable of winning events like this? Uh, shout out to the Green Wall. Y'all are fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure you guys were louder than Toronto, if I'm not mistaken. No, I mean, so they didn't win a map, but like. We just ran them out the, yeah. up the yeah. building. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all were louder than Toronto. Building. So, like, that just says. <laughs> it's their home grand, home tournament. And that show was basically our own. That was, it feels, a, it feels that like it's that was the Green Wall's tournament. That was the Green Wall's tournament. It's always the Green Wall's yeah, tournament. It's always. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you guys for supporting us throughout the, you know, the lows and highs. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. To the real keep, ones. Keep though. supporting until fucking end of the season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much love. Unguardable, man.